Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector is back for another toy review. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy Velocitron Crasher. And yes, this is based on the Mirage mold. I will get my Siege Mirage. For Cybertron Siege Mirage, which they did share a similarity to one another. So this is based on this right here. Based on the yeah. I am gonna do a comparison with some other legacy Velocitron figures I have. Here we got Override based on her Cybertron appearance. I've never had Override. Also, Legacy Velocitron 500. And just because this figure reminds me of Mirage, we are going to transform the War for Cybertron Siege Mirage. Which you'll see there are some similarities here. In general. So, I will say there are similarities to this mold. With the body and the sculpting and all that. But my copy is a bit more... Unique. Okay, we got Siege Mirage, mostly transformed. But we are going to do a comparison with my original Mirage, which is War for Cybertron Siege. I don't have the Legacy 2-pack one, but I do have this one. As you can see, they share a similar vehicle mode to one another. Being this is more Earth-based Generation 2 Mirage, which... Earth-based Mirage, which I don't own that figure. I really don't own the Kingdoms figure. But you can see they share a similar vehicle mode. Why not? Dare I say why not? But I had to do that comparison just for all you Transformers fans. But now I'm transforming it back because the robot mode is the most important thing of the figure to show off. In my reviewing career, I've been toy collecting for almost my entire life since my childhood in 19... After I was born in 1993, I have been collecting toys for a very long time. But now we're going to transform Crasher. And yes, before we transform Crasher, let's look at her box. Got a nice product shot of Legacy Velocitron 500 Crasher Decepticon. She is a Decepticon. And how much did we pay for this figure? We paid eight bucks, and this figure was originally twenty-two bucks. Twenty-three bucks. Wow. Key difference in this figure. Love that I got it for Ross from a deal. 
And this is my last Transformers figure, I think, from Ross here. I got one more left for next month from Ross, and then that's all my Transformers figures. But now we're done with the packaging, with looking at the packaging. Product shot of, of Crasher, inner robot mode and vehicle mode. So let's get down to transforming it first. Free up this gun, the other gun. We're going to pull this upwards, split the arms. Get those arms accordioned upwards, flip out her head, fold this back, fold in the wheels, second verse, just like the first, rotate, flip around the arms, and there we got her lower body done. We split the legs. First, you rotate this downwards. In turn, we'll free this up and we'll pull that down. Make sure to flip out the foot, which is similar to Siege Mirage's foot, so easy to transform. Rotate the leg, and then we got a leg all done. Flip out the hands. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Flip this around. Like so, rotate this down and around so you peg it in, flip out her foot, rotate the leg, and her, she's almost transformed except for this part. We're going to make sure this pegs into place. And here we got Crasher in her robot mode. And this is a pretty good figure of Crasher. The sculpt on this figure is really well done, even though it's a repaint of the Kingdom's Mirage 2-pack. But here is Siege Mirage, which shares a similar mold with this figure. So yeah, old versus new. This is the best Mirage, and this is the best Crasher. They can hold their weapons... Because my Siege Mirage has his weapons. We'll put his shoulder rocket there. Give him his gun. The only difference is she doesn't have the ports on the shoulder like this Mirage does. So they look totally different, but the weapons are entirely the same mold. See? Similar paint. Different paint, but same mold. Even with the rocket launchers, they're exactly the same. But now we're going to give Crasher her weapons. We'll give her the rocket launcher. So she can go eat rocket Autobot. And give her her main weapon. Why not? She can go pew pew, bang bang, in all that glory. But now we're going to do... A comparison with Override in robot mode before we end this video. I've got Override's transformation completely memorized. So yeah, I'm just that good with transformations on my toys after a while. Of messing around with them. So yeah, I got Legacy Philosotron Override, which I love this figure. Definitely glad to have this figure. It's a lot of fun. And definitely my favorite of the Legacy Philosotron 500 figures. 
But here's Override next to Crasher. Best figure of Legacy Philosotron. Would, my number one favorite is Override. My second favorite is Crasher. No, and Crasher.